Hello, hello, and welcome back. If you are new here, a very big welcome. And if you have been here before, and I'd like to say thank you very much for your support. Today we are playing Castle of Alchemist. What is Castle of Alchemist? It is essentially, it's a tower defense game where you are basically a medieval doom guy. You can lay traps, place traps, combine traps, and basically just raise hell. Castle of Alchemist, a safe haven for troubled visions, locked away from evil sights, shunned by their society. Nigh impenetrable with protects the inhabitants from the outside world. Came from the dark. Did no one invade us warm from portals within the castle before we passed, triggering the castle's defense mechanisms and trapping us within the dark. As Leo Ferrata, army of the castle, we respond swiftly. Locate and retrieve our most valuable asset, Alatar de Alcama. First of his kind, an economically engineered servant of the world. Mutation cycle is not yet complete. However, we have no choice but to obey the law. It is our only hope to overtake the castle. That's us. Big, strong, buff man, dripping goop. So you move with was you can uh, jump you have a uh, rocket launcher basically you can switch weapons with a Q none of this is breaking unfortunately But you can beat people up. You have a like a blunderbuss. You can drop traps. Hammer thing has a basically a charge where you can do that. And that is basically the attack. At the start of every wave, it is a wave defense. Uh, towers. Some levels have them, some levels don't. And you can drop down traps. And you can make them walk over traps. Barricades, eh, they sort of work. I find that they're really, that they get over them like really easily. The problem. Uh, your rocket launcher and heal, you get one per wave. But basically, later on in the game, you can get stuff like uh, electricity in that, which will combine with, say, these ones on the ground with the metal. Which allows you to go 
sort of like add elemental attacks to it. Um, there's another one that will spit out oil. And with the oil, you can set the oil on fire. With either a flame tower or other things. Which will uh, basically set the area on fire, burn them sort of thing. So you got uh, damage types, you got physical damage, ice damage, acid damage, in which if they get in the acid they actually melt. Electric damage, once again that's another one that you combine with um, metal traps, and then it electrifies the trap, and then you have fire damage. It tells you how much damage you did, how much damage the tower did, and how much damage the trap did. In, um, this is just the uh, intro, so it doesn't have it, but uh, it'll give you challenges up here for all the other levels, and it'll be you can basically go back as you get the traps to do the, the, the damage. There is crafting regions that you get, crafting regions are there to build new traps, upgrade your weapons. Welcome back, Commander. Our group successfully secured the Legion Barracks in the Outer Rim and have established it as a small base of operations. You may find me in the War Room, Commander. Let me know when you're prepared and we can choose our next steps. Master Jurikin at the... I can't even see that. I would like to speak with you, Commander. It's recommend that you go and see his name. So this is where you pick your weapons and you can mutate yourself. These are all the uh, mutations that you can get. Basically, they stack. The armory is where you'll equip the uh, booby traps, weapons. You have a carry weight, everything has a weight on it. So first we're going to go to the frozen corner because in the first part of the game you got to go through and rescue people. As you rescue people it will build up your base, it will give you more options on things to do. So as I said it does show that So in this one we're going to go and rescue the trapsmith. So this one, 10,000 damage with melee weapons, 10,000 damage with ranged weapons, quick vials, and uh, 25 invaders with electric. So as I said, you can go back, you can do the challenges as you go through. Like when you're here, you can go all the way back, finish off the challenges as you go through. There isn't once you get into the next map, there's some sort of progression sort of thing. But right now for the for the intro, it's very linear. So let's get on with this. So once again, it's going to show you their pathing. Up here, it's going to show you what's there, what their resistances are, what their weaknesses are. These are Arctic. Raiders and swordsmen, so we don't really have anything fire right now. Just going to show you a grid so that you can place things. We really don't have much here. So. We'll just go like that. Basically, it's just beat him up, finish the wave. First, first couple levels aren't that hard. Oh, 
Oh, first mention. Uh, the blue is Stenema. The red is your health. When your health gets low, you basically go back to the start of the level, but the level keeps running. Stop them from getting up anymore. You have to start off with a blunderbuss. Basically, it's just a matter of getting them into the booby traps, dropping your traps, end of each wave, you'll get new resources based on how you did, didn't die, didn't let any pass, and managed to go without falling. Now, And at the beginning of each wave, your consumables are reset, and your health is reset. Basically, as at the first level, it's basically easy because you can just basically lay the traps. Make them run over the traps, although I screwed up the barricade and they're going around the damn traps. Basically, you'll use the barricades to funnel them sort of thing. For the most part they will run towards you, so if you stand at the end of a trap segment, like if you stand here they'll run up the side. Down here, they'll run up the middle of the trap. But it's all about funneling and combining the traps, combining the elements. victory and we got our first new trap and we got up close because we did almost 40,000 damage with our stick of doom nice to trust me Ozovan has been unlocked <coughs> well now we have the workshop Do have variant versions. I think most of them. This one has three. This one has four. And that one's just the only one there. And that's the one there. I think that has the first level of it will throw mud. The second level of it will throw oil. 
And this one's the flamethrower one. So if you combine the oil one and the flamethrower one, then it makes a big flaming mess. Any mutations? Right, we've got a mutate point. So, like I said, these are the uh, mutations that are available to you. The red ones are a list of uh, mutations to you personally. Um, the chance, the red chance, and stuff like that. Like hit points. Gen, Dynama, and firing capacity. The ones over here are more based on cooldown and trap damage, and this one is uh, reduces vials by 5%. Clockworks are like little robots, like you get a drone with a gun, you get a spider that will run and blow up. Uber trap damage, deterrent damage. Elemental damage of weapons. Uh, the one you can get like fire blast and stuff like that. Physical damage of weapons. Stamina cost reduce stamina cost reduction. And crit chance of ranged weapons. And every five levels you basically get like sort of like a perk. Do the blunderbuss. So let's go the automatic thruster. Go to the war room. Go to the lava passage. I'm going to show you on the map how they go. What does that say? We don't have twenty five thousand damage. Three quick booby traps. mix I think that's what you get if you combine like electricity and metal and fire and oil and you gotta get combo kill for that so let's get on with the next level well, same as first one it's gonna show us where they're coming from can put ceiling ones above floor ones. Or when the floor one triggers, the ceiling one is also going to trigger. So repeater crossbow. Basically, it's almost like a cone attack. You get 18, 18 shots each reload. does show where they're coming through. By the time they get here they should be pretty much beat up enough that it shouldn't take you too much to kill them. Every now and then you'll have one that runs past you. It's a matter of hunting them down. There are, oh, yeah. but I mean, they'll bring you back. You'll, you'll heal up once you get, once you heal to a certain point, they'll let you back out.
it's just more so a matter of laying enough traps down to do maximum damage as you can. So that when they so that as they come through, for the most part, one thing one thing I do have an issue with is especially if you got like a whole bunch of stuff on the ceiling. They will get lost under it so you can't see them. Now I would sort of like if they're under it underneath something like this that they um that they sort of get like highlighted or something. Like a little highlight around them. bunch of like range guys that come that really hard to see which ones are the range especially with these ones I mean once you get for the other ones it's a lot easier to see which are the range guys target using the reticle. Hey, we did better that time. Now we got the mud trap, which will make things easier. So you can disassemble things by seconds. And I do want to make my trash and I just want to make it as big as possible. So stamina reduction, increased damage. You can stamina for crushing blow. Crushing blow is your right click and you basically power the hammer. So weapons are color coded. <coughs> to disassemble something, you drag it down to here, drop it there, and go back to the bundle bus. You got two stat points, one to increase damage, and you got one gem. So, this one it's uh, kill three enemies in three seconds, gain 10% hit points back every 15 seconds. Mud trap. Only have like one of each type. <clears throat> one sprinkler, one. Okay, so I can't put this one up there because that's the magic item, and I have actually two attack items. Okay, so we're gonna do this one, and I'm probably gonna end it for the day, and I'll probably be back with this. It's more so, it's, it, it's a game of working out what works best.
when you get that big green thing up above you, it means that you've triggered the heal. Traps do have a cooldown. You can only trigger every like little bit. to get the maximum damage you can. Because otherwise, it gets to a point where your traps are just overloaded. And they all take off at once. When that happens, that's when you get overrun. So yeah, so it's, it's, it's all a matter of getting your traps in place, getting it so they run through the traps, trigger the traps. For the most part, I mean, your traps are going to do a lot of the work for you. Oh, not like the first wave, wave and a half. But once you do get to the point where, especially the traps that do the elemental damage that... They do have um, vulnerabilities too. Once you hit that point, I mean, your traps are gonna be wild. It does have a uh, line of sight for ranged weapons. by ranged weapons, you can go around the corner and break line of sight. Uh, counter up here that tells you how many let through them as they come through this time. You can drop like a whole bunch of traps, especially if you're good. This 
This is the thing though, the cooldown of the traps can be a bit of a pain. Keep up the booby traps. But if you do have a good setup, You can basically get to the point, especially in some of the later ones, when you're combining damage, that they really won't get hurt, as long as you combine all the right damage. Oh, Daddy done screwed up. You get experience every level. Experience is where you get your points from. Now, we got the spike poison trap, which changes our spike traps to a poison trap. We've got an electric tower, which um, in the later levels you can use that instead of the ballista. And we've got an explosive flower. Now we have the tower smith and the electricity from the uh, basically it's a Tesla tower can combine if you place it right with the um, this is your tower list and you can combine the electricity with the traps then it work basically the uh, metal traps will get like the electricity running around the outside but I think that's where we're going to leave this today, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll probably be back next week with the next episode. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you have liked what you see, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen.